So in yesterday's Warhammer 40,000 podcast, another miniature system that, that I really enjoy playing, we were looking this, at this idea of building a list, looking at your army, figuring out what models to take, and, and the kind of the tactics behind it. And I thought it would be really interesting to share with you my take on Battletech. Now, certainly if there's a specific mission or if I'm going into a narrative-type game, that's going to dictate the type of list that I want to play. That's going to kind of dictate the units that I need to take. We're going to put that aside for a moment. I toss out, I give you 6,000 battle value. Um, early, mid-succession era, what units are you going to take? What units do you want to explore on there? Uh, that type of open thing... I have two ways of building a list or two ways of kind of figuring out what I want to take. The first is where I'm, I'm, where I'm trying to achieve a theme on the table, a self-imposed theme. Maybe I want to leverage tons and tons of long-range missiles. Well, how do we do that? You know, what do we need to take with the tactics? Um, it could be a brawler list. I want to take fast, heavy assault mechs and just kind of power slam you and punch you and kick you and kind of go hand to hand it could be a run and gun type list on there where i'm going to take a lot of medium and fast light mechs and just see what we can do so certainly there's an idea um, behind it but building on that mech selection now there's a lot in the battle tech universe and, and the same thing goes on um, with vehicles and total warfare over time, I've built up my mech collection. I, I've tried to add a little bit every time I can. So certainly, this next part of list building, wherever you are in your own Battletech journey, if you're new, you're going to have a lot less models on there. If you've been playing for a little while, you're going to expand things out. I have tried to build out my collection in three ways. And this kind of cycles back in. This filters back into the list. The first are the mechs. And, and the vehicles. So when I say mechs for this, I also mean mechs and vehicles for this podcast. The mechs that, for whatever reason, I enjoy playing. I, I enjoy them. Uh, the Orion, the Marauder, the Warhammer, a lot of the classic unseen mechs on there. Um, locusts, Stingers, Wasps, things like that. Um, griffins, Shadowhawks. The mechs that, given the chance to throw down on the table, I, I just enjoy them. I enjoy how they move, I enjoy looking at them, I enjoy imagining them, that narrative. So that first column is the acquisition of models. Then there are units where maybe they fall in the first column, and if they don't, these are units in the game that, for various reasons, and that's a podcast for another time, they're just solid. They're just amazing, amazing mechs. Um, they have a a really focused role. The battle value is really low. They've got, you know, crossover in many areas. A perfect example, like the catapult. It, it's a great machine. It, it really is. It has a lot going for it. If you didn't really know what to take for the battle value, you pull in a catapult. There are just certain things that um, work well in the rules of Battletech. So that's kind of the second group. I also try to acquire mechs and vehicles that fit in there. The third kind of column in list building units as I build out my collection and have built out my collection and continue to build out my collection, this, this is the experimental tech. Um, also, other examples in that second column, vehicles, um, warrior VTOLs, Karnovs, infantry, looking at that stuff. Third column is experimental stuff, stuff that... You know, the stars have to align. A lot has to align to pull it off. But if, it, if those stars align, you are in a lot of trouble. Uh, perfect examples, right? Short-range missile carriers. Pretty slow. Zero armor. Super short range. It's a vehicle, so it's going to take motive hits. Even if it gets hit, that's going to start slowing it down. Really easy to destroy and pretty high battle value. So you, you look at something like the SRM carrier... And you're like, oh, it's a lot of battle value. It's got a lot of what ifs. Yeah, but if I get that up there, if I roll that up there, you know, a demolisher tank is one thing. It's got the armor. It's got two AC-20s on there. You know, you're not happy if I roll that up, but, but it's solid. You know, a demolisher tank would be in that second column or maybe that first column. I roll up with that short-range missile carrier, and I open fire one hex away. You are in a lot 
of trouble. So it's it's a lot of fun these these units that fit certain roles. Um, a fire starter would be in there. Although fire starter is a little misleading because it it plays based on the weaponry and the speed. It plays a lot like a medium mech, and um, with the lasers and the flamers and the ability to get up there. You want to be, or I find at least for me, to be a little bit more aggressive than I want. I really got to be careful. You know, remember, hey, the fire starter is a light mech on there. But a fire starter is a great example where it's so focused on this one thing, or a Vulcan so focused on this one thing, that's going to be in that third column. So that's the collection. That's how I build it out. Um, with my list, when I have a theme, I take a little bit from each column. So. I take the mechs that I always really enjoy playing, you know, the Warhammers, the Thunderbolts, the Orions, the Stalkers. I got to play at least one or two, an awesome mech. I got to play at least one or two of these machines on there. It just has to happen. Then I, from that second column, I try to select mechs and vehicles that are solid, that work. So this way I have my cake and I get to eat it too. I get to play a little bit of what I like, but I'm, I'm building solid tactics. I'm pulling in stuff for solid tactics on there. Then I try to take one or two of the, from the third column, those, those what-if, those wonder weapons, that, that crazy, wacky stuff, you know, like 10 Savannah Masters or something like that for, like, I don't know, 500 Battle Value or something crazy on there, or some sort of experimental infantry, just stuff that it's not going to impact the game if I don't pull it off and it gets destroyed. Not that I want to just throw out Battle Value to get gobbled up, but if I can make that a line. If I can pull that off, that magic on the table, we're going to be talking about it for weeks on there. So this way I get to build a solid list. Every game I play at Battletech is an amazing experience. So I, I have a solid list from that middle column. I've got my classic favorites that I always like to throw down on the left column. And on the right column, I've got a little bit of fun. You know, I've got a little bit of extra stuff to play with on the table. That's the formula that I look to play and I try to play with Battletech.